In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this product, which claims to be a treatment for vitreous floaters. But the question is, is it worth your money? Hey, I'm optometrist Martin Aguzzi, and this is Martin's Eye Tips. If you're new here, then please think about subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. That way you'll make sure you get um, notified every time I release a new video. And I create videos designed to help you see better, see more comfortably and have less anxiety about your eyes. So let's get into today's video. So today we're having a look at vitriol caps. So let's unbox the product and take a look at what's inside the package. So here is the product in uh, all of its glory. So as we uh, get into the packaging, oh, you can see the bright blue colors of the tablets. And it's, it's a little bit off-putting to be honest when you first open it. It's a bit of a surprise, not really what you expect. And uh, there is this uh, information sheet as well that comes with the product. Got some of the claims on there and we'll take a look at that in a bit more detail in a short while. Now one of the observations I make first of all about this product is that it's actually been in production since about 2015 and it's a Russian based product uh, it's not been available in the other parts of the world um, for a while it seems and in a recent few months it's actually become available in the United Kingdom and that's part of why I wanted to make this video because you may well find that this product now becomes more widely available in the United Kingdom and in other parts of the world as well I know that two key suppliers of uh, optical supplements in the United Kingdom now stock this product, uh, make it available. So therefore you, it's reasonable to assume that it's gonna be an option on shelves. Um, so for somebody who's got vitreous floaters and is looking for a solution, this might be something that you might be attracted to. So we're gonna have a look at whether it kind of um, makes sense, whether it stacks up and whether the claims that they're making is a reasonable claim for them to make. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump behind my computer and I'm going to um, do a little screen um, share with you just so we can have a look at a couple of websites. First of all, we'll have a look at the website of the company that makes this product and have a look at some of their claims on that website. Here is the website of the company that makes the product in Russia and they're called Abiga Vision. And we can see the product on here and we can see essentially what is on uh, the uh, product packaging, the nutritional information, as well as some of the claims about the product. So it's described as being a, a micronutrient uh, for special medical purposes. So the claim is that this product is designed specifically for the vitreous body, which is the gel within the eye that the floaters appear within. So the key ingredients highlighted in the product, and they do specify that it's a plant based ingredients. Um, and it's ingredients from grape seeds, uh, citrus fruits, as well as vitamin C. And they're going to say that vitriol cap contains a specifically prepared plant ingredients from grape seed and citrus fruits, as well as vitamin C, zinc, and the, the amino acid L-lysine. They state that research has shown that L-lysine and flavonoids, among those um, hesperidin, inhibit the clumping of collagen fibers of the vitreous body by glucose and free radicals. So they're effectively saying that because it contains L-lysine, this amino acid, and also vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, that these two have been shown to um, stop the process that causes clumping of collagen fibers leading to floaters. And they go on to say that vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant um, in uh, aqueous media and neutralizes free radicals. Procyanidines from the extract of grape seeds modulate the enzyme activity, collagenase and elastase. Zinc helps to maintain the normal eyesight. So really the active ingredient in this is uh, the L-lysine and then there's also vitamin C as well and zinc. Much of what else is on the, in the set tablet itself is fairly standard stuff. Note also that the capsules aren't going to be great for vegans because they contain gelatin. They also have a range of other products aimed towards specific eye conditions such as macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, um, cataracts, glaucoma, um, macular pigment changes and dry eyes. I think we can clearly see that this product is marketed as being a benefit to the jelly within your eye, the vitreous humour and uh, with the view to kind of preventing and possibly even curing floaters. 
And I think anybody who buys this product will buy it with the expectation that it's going to get rid of the floaters that they have. And in my research around this product, I came across a journal that was published in Russia uh, about the effectiveness of this product. And it makes quite interesting reads. So I'm going to head over to my screen and we can have a look at that as well. And by the way, I'll leave a link to this journal and to the website in my description box below. So please check that out for um, this information if you want to have a look into it yourself and have a look at a bit more detail. Now, this journal is actually a Russian based uh, ophthalmology journal. So I wanted to highlight this journal because actually they come to some uh, quite interesting conclusions. And I think these conclusions alone have made it worth me kind of just highlighting this product. I'm bringing it to um, your attention because I think some of the conclusions that they came to were quite uh, positive in favor of uh, VitroCap. Just to give you a bit of a summary of kind of what really they've said. So, so this was a study that uh, included just a mere 32 patients. So really, really small. So small, really. It's um, it's very difficult for anybody to kind of claim that this is going to be a representative finding, really, but. It's uh, 32 uh, patients, 16 of those patients actually reported uh, floaters to their doctors and uh, reported um, significant symptoms of these floaters impacting their vision and their lifestyle. The other 16 were scanned and found to have floaters, but they did not report noticing these floaters in everyday life. So the 16 that were the actual main group were a given vitro cap and the other 16 were not and uh, kind of the long and short really of uh, of the uh, findings was that uh, victory cap um, increased the level of comfort of, of people's vision and in most cases it reduced their complaints of floaters in their vision and so they concluded that it could be used in clinical practice of ophthalmology and then they also gone to say that uh, according to actual scans that they did not just relying on people's um, say so the scans that they did um, of the eye um, after taking vitro cap and by the way the, the supplements were taken for three months so the full 90 days so scans that they did before and after uh, they also um, then revealed that um, that there was a tendency for the actual number of uh, floaters people had to reduce as well as the kind of the quantity the quality so which is really the size of the floaters got smaller as well and that's kind of pretty, uh, pretty remarkable findings, really. And they do um, state that it does that vitro cap does require further study, um, an additional clinical study, to really uh, kind of confirm these results. So I mean, there were some other bits and pieces there as well that are definitely worth having a look at if you're interested in that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just thought it was an interesting article or interesting journal to stumble across. It does state somewhere that, that they actually have no affiliation with the company that makes the drug, which would be an obvious kind of thing to rule out. But, you know, yeah, so take that as you will. Um, but that's what the findings of the journal state. So in further digging as well, I found that this product is available on Amazon, although uh, the feedbacks aren't great. And it's also, um, they all seem to be Russian um, based feedback as well. Uh, from 2016 2017 um, so people aren't saying that this product is causing them a problem in any way just more that people are disappointed that you know based on the price of this product and the UK retails around about 37 pounds for 90 tablets so for your three month supply people saying that they're just not seeing any benefits not seeing any results um, in, in taking this um, for uh, Three months so people feel like they've had a waste of time really there's a couple of people who are saying yep this is fantastic it's it's great it's helping but um you know not many of those people so um yeah so with it coming to the uk people seeing it on their shelves perhaps and um, in other um, european countries and maybe in the us um you know certainly something to um be aware of and um you know on the face of it you know it uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up with this product and certainly wouldn't expect it to uh, be a cure for floaters um, if you've got existing floaters but you know that's just what we're seeing on the face of it and to be fair in our expectations and the science of it I wouldn't really expect it to be a cure for existing floaters 
Now, if their argument was that, and this might be their argument, is that it's a preventative um, product that you take it um, to prevent long-term, um, um, the long-term kind of risk of getting floaters, then that's a, a different argument altogether. So uh, what do you think? What's your feedback? So uh, if you um, have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments section below and um, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. And also since I've got these pro this, this product, perhaps I'll try it for uh, 90 days and see what the results are for me and my floaters um, and that can perhaps feedback to you in a future video.